I'm Joe Schultons at the West Michigan Tennis Academy and I'm going to talk to you today about the effectiveness of the one-handed slice backhand approach shot. You still see a lot of players on tour using this as opposed to a coming in behind topspin. And the reason it's so effective is because when the ball hits it skids, stays very low, makes for a very difficult passing shot on the part of the person receiving that. There's a lot of western grips on tour a lot of semi-western grips and the people with a grip like that have a very difficult time getting down and digging up a ball that skids and only comes up six inches off the surface of the court so now we'll show you a split screen slow motion of how a topspin shot reacts after it bounces versus how an underspin shot reacts after it bounces the underspin loses less of its speed after it bounces and stays very low Topspin shot, there's a little more resistance, a little more friction, so a topspin shot will actually slow down after it bounces a little bit and kick up a little higher. The underspin, though, like I said, seems to pick up speed to the person receiving it, but that's against physics, that doesn't actually happen. It just loses less of its speed. Okay, when a professional is attempting this shot, they see the short ball, they start to sprint in, they slow their sprint, but they never come to a complete stop, turn their shoulders while they're on their way in, make the stroke, then accelerate in the rest of the way and get ready for their finishing volley. Now what I'll do is I'll actually demonstrate this shot and have someone feed me a short ball. I'll come in and make the moves, hit a, a finishing volley. Okay, in closing, I'd like to say that all of you two-handed backhand hitters out there, you need this shot in your repertoire. It's very effective. Pros still use it. It's not one of those shots that has become extinct on the tour. So that's my tip for the day.